On Tuesday, October 24th, the Manchester Business Association made its pitch to create what they hope will be a win-win deal with the town of Manchester. The business leaders who head up the local business organization are seeking to share in revenues generated from the local option taxes assessed on sales, rooms, meals, and alcohol above a certain baseline level and steer them to support the organization's efforts to market Manchester to visitors to keep them coming and coming back again. With the local option tax, the Manchester Business Association projected 10 years of anticipated growth in the revenues beginning in 2019 and broke out how they proposed the revenues might be shared. Paul W. Carroccio, the president of the Business Association, explained the plan in a later interview. So the concept is to take the previous year's local option tax budget and then budget with 3% inflation on top of it for the next year. As the year goes through and we hit that number as a town with the inflation added to the budget, then if there's a 2% increase above it, all of that goes to the town and then the MBA would pick up from there from that point until you get to 15% over the budget uh, from the previous year and then the town would pick up the rest. So the MBA is looking to earn uh, an upside well over budget from the 5% to the 15% uh, portion of the, um, of the uh, above the budget. So the, the whole concept is that the town gets their budget number plus a buffer and then the MBA kicks in from there based on the MBA's ability to hopefully improve that number above the budget every year. And um, of course if it were to go down only the town uh, would um, have uh, the risk relative to the deficit um, and would pull out of the reserve fund. The MBA would get nothing if, if there were a number less than the budget number. At Tuesday's meeting, Barocchio made the case for sharing the revenue during a presentation to the select board. The organization has funded itself so far largely through website advertising and its own fundraising efforts, as well as some earlier marketing support from the town, but needs additional revenue to grow and remain viable. By continuing to get the word out about the area's attractions and recreational opportunities like hiking, biking, skiing, canoeing, as well as shopping, dining, and lodging possibilities, the business group wants to give a boost to the local businesses, which in turn will benefit the community as a whole, they believe. Shoppers and visitors will boost not only the local economy, but continue to pay into the local option tax, a 1% surcharge on many retail items, as well as the rooms, meals, and alcohol sales, which after the state levies an administrative fee, are returned back to the town's coffers to help stabilize local property taxes. The organization emerged about a year ago following the demise of the former Manchester in the Mountains Regional Chamber of Commerce and has developed a website, ManchesterVermont.com, which has 150 area businesses registered and 74 paying for enhanced directory memberships. The site is garnering about 18,000 unique site visits per month, as well as 60,000 page views per month. It's using the website as a primary vehicle to push the Manchester message of a great place to visit. Carocchio pointed to upticks in real estate sales and lodging occupancy rates, as well as several successful events, the recently concluded ITV Fest being one of them, that brought increased visitors and their dollars into town. Internet sales may be another factor to be looked at, as sales from use taxes begin to be reported by Amazon and other online retailers that local residents pay in purchases. These might also be a source of revenue to support the local bricks and mortar businesses, the Business Association said. The select board's reaction was one of interest, but they cautioned more study and discussion was warranted. Um, this is a very creative idea, and I, I'm, I'm open to, to the discussion of this, and I, um, I think it is a way, uh, you've done a good job with it, it keeps intact uh, the, uh, the, uh, our ability to stabilize property taxes while still allowing um, these revenues, which are largely paid by visitors to the town, to, uh, to have a potential for increasing those revenues to both the town and, and the business association. So um, I'm, I'm going to look at this really carefully. I, uh, I'm not going to buy into it right away. We have to have discussions. So we have to make sure that we're not uh, uh, getting out ahead of ourselves on this. But uh, I certainly appreciate the thought that's gone into this and the consideration to what historically has been the position of the town on, on local option taxes. So uh, I appreciate this very much, and thank you for that presentation. 
And the select board also was cool to the idea of commingling funds from the local option tax that might go to more regional promotions and weren't strictly limited to those that were tailored directly to Manchester. That's the way, we're the hub. So all of these other things are thought of in the context of Manchester and it's advantageous to advertise them as part of what we offer. It's really important to get that in. I, I understand that completely, but you have to understand that as a working for the Manchester voter, the Manchester taxpayer, we have to be really provincial as to how we use their dollars. And uh, we have to make sure that, uh, uh, that we're not taking what should be a 100% contribution from the town of Manchester and diluting it to other communities that are not also contributing to that pool. Um, so uh, this, when, when we're talking about the Board of Selectmen and Manchester tax dollars, there's no other outside funding from those communities that comes into that pool. Therefore, we have to be very provincial as to how that money is paid out. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.